emblem of the new apostolic church. This is the church that I grew up in. I believed that this was the true church. And I, when, when I obviously before I started doing my studies, and what they were teaching me was correct. Now, I'm going to get to the graphic again just now, but just bear with me. I'm standing now in the holy place. I'm doing Christian stuff, right? I'm, I'm a good Christian. I'm reading the Bible. I'm sharing the Bible. I'm praying. And I'm doing my walk with God. The main focus, if I'm facing eastwards, the main focus of my eastward-facing Christianity is the cross, because that's what I can see. But what's in between me and the cross? Can you see the laver of water? Well, have a look at the logo again of the New Apostolic Church, and you'll see that this is the picture looking outwards from the holy place, outwards towards the cross. Go back to the graphic and you'll see what I mean. I'll show you. If I'm standing here looking outwards, first I see the laver, then I see the cross, and behind the cross I see the sun. It's exactly what you have there. You have the laver, you have the cross, and then behind the cross you have the rising sun. Quite incredible to see the parallels between this and how simple it actually is to uncover the deceptions. If I was to face east in the sanctuary, spiritually now of course, what doctrines would an eastern-facing sanctuary allow me? Well, think about it. If I was to stand in the holy place and there's movement. We've seen throughout the sanctuary that there's movement in the sanctuary. The sanctuary is alive. So if I was to be in the holy place and move, what would be the first thing that I would do? Right? What would the, the, the water, right? So what's, what's the water? The water refers to baptism. So if I'm facing eastwards, what doctrine does that enable? Well, here's a picture to show you. That doctrine enables infant baptism. What do I mean? Why does that doctrine enable infant baptism? Well, think about it. If I am a parent and I have a child, the child is first baptized and then they meet Christ. They don't first meet Christ and get baptized. You see, that it's supposed to be the other way around. Uh, we are supposed to meet Christ, repent ye, and believe the gospel. Go into all the world and t teach them about Jesus. And uh, what does it say in, in Acts 8 verse 37? If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, then you may be baptized. So we have to make a cognitive decision, and then we may be baptized. This is the other way around. A child can't make the cognitive decision, so they first get baptized, and then hopefully one day they meet Christ. But my question is, look, look at the graphic. My question would be, where does that Christian stay spiritually for the rest of his life or her life? Where would they remain? If, if I'm working from the holy place outwards towards the door, where would I stay? Can, can I go further than the cross? No, because if I go further than the cross, I start getting out into the world. I don't want to go there. So as a Christian, where's my focus? My focus is continually on the cross. Now think about Catholicism for a moment. If I was to walk into a Catholic church, what would I see at the back of the Catholic church? Have a look at this graphic and see if it makes sense. What would I see in a Catholic church? If I was standing in the holy place facing east, I would see the cross. I would see the crucifixion of Jesus. Over and over, I would see the crucifixion of Jesus. If you have a look at some of the pictures, does it now make sense why Jesus has always got the sun halo? Because the sun is behind Jesus. You have the cross and then you have the sun. Here's a different picture. Please note the sun behind the cross. It, it, it's wonderful to have pictures like this because you can see immediately, once you understand the sanctuary, the effect of how the Catholic system faces the East. Because as a Catholic, the, your main focus is the cross. That's why it's, it's what they wear. It's on the, on the rosary. It's, uh, they're always kneeling at the cross, etc., etc. That's where their main focus is. And that's all the dragon wants to do. He just wants to turn you around. Because if you can get away from pointing your, your face towards the most holy, and even though you're doing good Christian stuff, you can find your way on the, on the way out towards the door. And while you're busy spiritually facing east, your, your recognition is first baptism, then the cross, 
and then sun worship, which is Sunday worship. Right. But you know what? It even gets worse. Because throughout uh, history, paganism has always baptized children. It's only the, the, the Christianity that's changed that. Throughout history, children have been baptized because the kingdom of heaven is based on free will. The Lord will never coax you into doing something. Every person must decide for his or herself if they want to do something. And if they want to do it or don't want to do it, they can make their own mind up. So you must be able to make a cognitive decision to be baptized. Not in paganism. Anyone that's done any research on uh, the, the ancient pagan, uh, I'll give you an example, Janusz, children that were baptized into Janusz, the sun god, they would take one of the flames, a torch, a flaming stick, and they would put it into water. And as the, the flame died in the water, that water would be called holy water. And they would then take that water and would mark the foreheads of the children. But that's not Christianity. That's paganism. And unfortunately, Satan has included that paganism today inside the Christian churches. So where we are supposed to meet Christ, be baptized, and become a Christian, today you become a Christian and you're baptized as, at birth and then you go and stay at the cross. What other doctrine do you think is, is created by this new direction? Think about this. If I was to be in the holy place and all I can see all the time is, is the cross. Have you heard of these people that say, I got saved in 1993. Right? Well, the Bible says, pick up your cross how often? Daily. And do what? Follow me. Paul says, I die daily. Yet not do I live, but Christ lives within me. We don't get saved once and boom, we're there. Oh, of course, if you're facing the wrong way, you do. Because you accept Christ and boom, that's it. There's nothing else to do. He's done everything for you and you just have to sort of make sure that you go to church on the weekend. No, that's not Christianity. That's pagan Christianity. The Lord says it's a daily walk. I die daily and He's inviting us, please walk with me, walk closer to me and turn around and face the most holy because in there, in the most holy, lies the character of God and the character of God is the law of God. So brothers and sisters, once saved, always saved, does not exist in a sanctuary. Hebrews 6 tells us something different. Read it with me. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to what? Perfection of the doctrine of baptisms and of the laying on of hands and of, it, of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. What, what uh, um, uh, most people believe that Paul wrote, so I'm going to call, say Paul wrote Hebrews. Let's, let's say Paul wrote Hebrews because most people think he did. What is Paul trying to explain here? Leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. What is the doctrine of Christ? The same as Zechariah 13 verse 6 where the person says, what are those holes in your hands? The doctrine of Christ is the crucifixion. Leaving the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection. Where's perfection? Perfection is in the most holy. Like the Bible says, the law is perfect and eternal. Jesus, God, the Almighty is perfect. That's in the most holy. Let us leave the cross and move onward to the most holy onto baptisms and laying on of hands, the resurrection, etc., etc. A movement deeper into the sanctuary, brothers and sisters. This is the calling that Jesus has got for every single one of us. Okay, so what other doctrines do you think turning around in the sanctuary creates? If I, if I was to turn around and face the wrong way, what else would it create? 